hello friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so so today we are going to do a screen flow uh, for the use case basically you have a salesforce instance which is uh, very uh, which doesn't hold uh, inaccurate data of the call center so the use case is uh, you want to update the old and inaccurate contact information for your customers so basically you have a call center and the call center agents will talk to the customers to update their information so basically you want to show them scripts to guide them through the conversation so let's follow through so we are aware that uh, screen flow is a great solution for this so how do we go about it so we go to setup and then we go to flows and then from there we from there we click the new uh, new flow and then we start building this screen flow in the auto layout mode so the first step would be to add an uh, element uh, here which is the screen element which is the screen element and then uh, we we will go to the the screen and it's need it needs a label as well so we will add a label and we will type it as like update We'll say like update in the full in the full screen, update in full screen. The API will get uh, the screen elements. Uh, so it need the screen elements in Salesforce needs to have a header and a footer. And headers and foot footers are very important because they have the buttons to go back and forth. So uh, so so yeah. So we yeah, we need we you want to basically want to customize this. Okay, so we will go to display text component up on top. We'll bring it up on top and then we will write up an API name. Let's call this into a text one and then say and update the contact information here. Okay, we'll write, we'll write it as update contact information. Uh, mind you, this is a rich text area. Okay, and uh, we will use bold in this area. So, and I can also display a message. Uh, that the user needs to read and convey okay so I'll write it up something here uh, like I would like to update your contact information okay and uh, uh, so I'll and this will take uh, like uh, two minutes this will take two minutes uh, right like this and um, then I'll I'll next I will add the input field. Okay, next I'll input I'll slide, I'll slide the text and then I'll have a, let's have one for the title and uh, then after that let's add another one for foreign uh, like for foreign foreign you know, for inputs like phone. You can use either a standard text or uh, input component or a phone component okay and uh, we'll, uh, let's say this is for the mobile phone all right and uh, I'll, let's change the api name and the label name as well and let's add an email now let's add an email here and let's add the api name as email and so these components are basically called lightning components and uh, they work a little bit differently and they have more parameters uh, if you see you can use the standard text input component instead of these uh, one over here um, so i'm going to hit done now okay and the information i collected I want to update on contact records but before I update I need to also specify which record uh, it is to be it needs to be the flow should update okay so I need to click on the resource and I'll go to the variable and I want to define a variable, variable for this record okay uh, so I'll add a record ID and it have a data type of text and this is going to be available for input okay now we'll need to pass this record to the flow so that the flow knows which records to work with now and then now uh, i'll add an update element okay now i'll add an update records so herein i will 
add the update contact and I want to specify the contacts so that to identify the records uh, and then here I will this is going to be contact record so the idea of the contact record I want to work with is um, mm, so basically I need to add I'll um, I'm going to be ID which is equals to record ID the record ID is being passed to the flow okay and then I what what I want to do this is I want to update the title of the person okay I want to I uh, I'm choosing the field name on the contact record okay on the right side I am choosing the screen component that holds the value that the user has entered okay and now I will pass this value to this field mobile phone okay and because these lightning components work a little bit differently I need to go in here and choose <clears throat> and um, choose the value so that as you can see the notation is a little bit different here okay and it's an exclamation mobile phone then value okay and for the email again uh, as it's a lightning component uh, I need you, the email that value okay then click on done and I can finish my flow here or I can add an another screen component to add a success message as well okay um, so uh, for example I am uh, I am uh, I am adding a, this call this a success screen okay and um, so now I will uh, I will have a display text I will add a display text here okay and then I I'll add like a thank you screen uh, thank you text here okay and after that I'll uh, I'll say like in your information has been updated Mm. so in that way this would be something that the user would read to the client for example uh, to the customer on the on the phone or like face to face okay now I can so save the flow and give it a label okay I'll I'll give it a label uh, name uh, let's say contact update okay out contact update screen flow okay um, and uh, and I'll, I'll now I'll, it's activated and now I'm going to debug this flow okay I click on debug okay and uh, I can deploy this flow using different methods but debug will show me how this works okay and it will ask me which records I need to work with and I need to go back to my uh, sales, uh, sales force for instance and grab a record idea for a record uh, for, a, for a contact copy it and come back to my flow okay I'll copy this contact and I'll come back to my flow and uh, I will input this record ID here and paste the record ID here and then I'll click on run and then I as soon as I ran my flow I see the information that I have to enter for the user uh, to read uh, 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 to the client so it displays here correctly and the title is asked that, uh, that says the title needs to be updated as manager okay and uh, the, uh, the phone number needs to be like say for example 9999999999 and the email is uh, like uh, ac at acme.acme.com and it, it, as soon as I hit next I get thank you okay uh, the information has been updated the success message and the transaction has been committed uh, without without errors okay so I, if I go to my record here I still need to refresh this record to see the final results uh, in my Salesforce uh, right now the email address is the old address there is no title and the mobile phone field is blank okay uh, so I am going to refresh this record to show you the new values and I click on I go to details and the new values as I entered them on my screen flow are assigned now for the 
uh, for, for that uh, for the uh, titles for, for the title as manager and the email is now at ac at acme.com and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so 